today's video we got this 2019 Audi RS5 came in for some front end damage as you can see the hood grill is broken we're gonna take it all apart see what else is broken the windshield's gonna need to be replaced uh, the mirror the side glass as far as the paint goes I think we're just painting the hood it's gonna be a new hood on the inside you can see it's not glossy it's got a flat finish so we're gonna make sure we duplicate the flat finish on the underside and then we can paint the outside with the regular clear coat so I'll show you guys how I go about making the flat finish making the glossy finish and make it look just like new it's just gonna be the hood so we're gonna paint it off the car, install it, and the car will be ready to go. So to find the color code for our Audi, usually it's in the back trunk, or we also have these booklets, 2019 import color information. So we go to the Audi section, and here's all the color codes for 2019 Audi and Volkswagen. Here we can narrow it down if we don't have it on the trunk floor, but uh, let me check if we have it on the trunk floor. For some reason, this one doesn't have the paint coat, but I do see another tag. It's a Z5M Nogaro Blue Pearl. That should be our color code. Let's see if we can locate it in this book. Audi Volkswagen, and we're looking for Z5M Nogaro Blue Pearl. Z5M Nogaro Blue Pearl, there it is. So now we can kind of match it up and it looks to be correct so that's our color code now we're going to go into our mixing room we're going to punch in the paint code and see what we get so we're going to type in our color code lz5m shows us volkswagen and audi we're going to choose the audi one nagaro blue that's what we need prime and this is our color formula. Use undercoat G7 for best results. So we're gonna use dark gray sealer for our undercoat. That way we get a correct color match. We're gonna mix up my sealer. I'm gonna spray a coat of sealer, let it dry 15, 20 minutes, and then we're gonna do our two coats of uh, base. All right, so we got our color mixed up. We're not gonna do a matte clear on the paint because in the base coat, I mixed up a engine bay converter and the T493 activator. It's gonna harden it just like a clear coat and it will be ready to go once it's dry. Since we're not gonna be doing a clear coat, I'm gonna use my Segaga 4600 with the DVR aqua cap to lay out the base coat nice and smooth. We're just gonna do our two coats give it a nice smooth finish, get our coverage, let it dry, and it should dry uh, flat and look just like the factory hood. Let's go. Here's our Audi RS hood. It's dry and it's looking nice. Ready to be installed. Well, actually, no. We gotta paint it underneath. So I'm gonna let this dry overnight. And then tomorrow, we're gonna mask up this section that we painted, flip it over. We'll do our sealer, base coat, clear coat. I did my spray out card for the outside with the gloss clear coat. As you can see, it turns out darker when you put a coat on it and this is the undercoat 
base coat hardener. So we're going to match up our spray out card, make sure the color is good because we're only painting the hood. So we want it to match and then we'll be ready to go. we can see our sealer is finally dry we let it flash off for about 20 minutes ready for our base coat I got everything mixed up loaded into my spray gun and we'll be spraying the base coat at 20 psi Two coats of base is dry and then I did a control coat since it is a metallic very fine metallic it almost looks like a solid base coat is dry and we're ready for our two coats of clear let's do it The hood is finished, painted, and it's looking beautiful. Happy with how it turned out. Let's get installed in the car and see what it looks like. Here's our old hood. We're taking off all the gaskets, the insulation, transferring it to the new hood. And it looks very nice. Very OEM-like quality. And nobody would be able to tell if they opened the hood that it was replaced or painted everything looks just like it did in the factory hood once Vlad is done installing everything we'll pull the car outside I'm gonna close the hood let you guys see what the color looks like make sure the match is perfect which I think it should be we got two beautiful blues here this is a solid blue and then this one has a bit of metallic flake in it we are also actually gonna do the paint on the door it had a big rock chip on the door so I'm gonna repair that, put some primer, and then we're just gonna paint the door 
front end is already done the grill was damaged in the center luckily the bumper pieces are on the side so we didn't have to paint anything else just the hood and we'll refinish the door all right guys check it out what do you guys think i think the color match is on point no need to blend or worry about painting anything else bring the car inside we're gonna primer the door and then i'm gonna get it ready for prep and paint we're gonna end the video here i want to thank you guys for watching on me uh doing my job painting the hood getting the color match on point getting the underside of the hood properly matched to what it was had a flat finish no gloss so this audi rs5 can go on its way like nothing ever happened. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoy this kind of content, don't forget to subscribe and hit the thumbs up. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys think. That is going to be it for this video. See you guys on the next one. now and Brad can put it back together good is painted so the car will be ready for detail and customer delivery let's go